Hey guys, it's Dee. I'm back with another haul video. I went to a couple of estate sales and I also picked up something from Facebook Marketplace. So I have a little collection of things to show you guys. So let's get started. I think the first thing I'm gonna show you is what I picked up at um, Facebook Marketplace. So I found this planter. Um, it's a Santa planter. It has some alphabets and numbers on the bottom, but other than that, there's not another marking and it has like an array of sprigs and some of these sugar candy things. And I thought that was so cool. I don't know who makes this, but um, he has a really cute face and I like the gold detailing that he has. What I think I might do is I might actually pull out the sprigs and do my own arrangement. Um, I mean, I like this, but I feel like I could add a couple more things so I think that's what I might do so if I do that I will be sure to show you guys what that looks like and then at one of the sales of course I can't pass up any Santa mug so here are two of them no markings on the bottom they probably had made in Japan stickers at some point I want to see these on napco wear but I'm not entirely sure so there it is. I picked up this um, apothecary jar, but I actually picked up two of them and I can't find the other one. And I actually think this is the lid to the other one because it does not fit. So I'll have to go find the other one. But I thought that I am going to have to pick up a couple of these because I have a lot of knickknacks that I have picked up garage sailing and um, going to estate sales that are not going to have a place, all the little Christmas things. So I thought it might be fun to kind of fill all the goodies in a jar. The next thing, I picked up some of these tins. And I think these are jello molds, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they're about this size. I like that, I think it's aluminum probably. Um, and I just like that for crafting, I thought. Oops. I did pick up some smaller ones. So here's a small one. Here's a heart shaped one. A bunch of smaller ones. That's like a diamond shaped triangle and some smaller circle ones. I also found a small gingerbread man cookie cutter that I thought was too cute, couldn't pass it up. And then I found some of these old Gerber um, tins. And of course I thought, oh, I could put that in my baby box. So I picked up some of them. Um, I just like the images on there and um, they are a little beat up, but you know, they still have a good print of the picture left. So that's why I picked them up. And then I found this, I want to say this is handmade, and in the process of bringing it home, it got um, undone a little, but I think all it is is I have to stick this back, but look at this, look at the, I mean, the time that it took to do this. I have done a ball version of the sequin and bead craft, and it took forever, and so I just appreciate these things when I see them. So, um, yeah, so I picked that up. I think I might actually put this one on the tree. I found this cute blue reindeer. Um, you know, obviously they don't come in this color that often, so when I saw it, I had to pick it up. I found these little gingerbread guys. And on the back, it is marked Made in Japan. And I actually saw some of these online and I was really glad to um, find it at this sale. This was the second day and I was thinking I wasn't going to be able to find it, but looks like no one picked them up. So lucky me. I found this girl, she is made out of yarn, some brick rack. And she does have a Japan sticker. I 
found a Scotty dog and I know Miss Stone Home was collecting some stuff and she was thinking about maybe doing it doing a box so I thought I would send this one to her um, so that's why I picked that one there is a wooden snowflake you would put the hook and then hang it up like that this little train set. Um, it is midwest of Cannon Falls and it's marked Taiwan. I thought that was too cute to pass up. I found this adorable nutcracker. And then I just found some random um, things to craft with an umbrella. I think it might have been stuck to something at some point, but it was broken off So I took it. There's this bird feeder thing that someone made um, You know, they use the yarn and then they put some seeds in it and that looks like the communion cup that we get at church that they give us the wine in. I think maybe that's what that is and then um, The seeds are inside I think that's a dove, if I'm not mistaken. I thought that was so cute. I definitely want to craft with this. I also found this wooden bell. Um, there were a bunch of others. Not sure if it was in a set of something, but I just picked up the ones that I saw. I found a bird's nest with two birds in it and it has like a string so I'm guessing it's an ornament but I might just take the string out and craft with that. More of these little wooden guys. This is um, that same bell like the yellow one right there and then there is a basket of apples a, I think, rocking horse, a small train set, and then two little angels. So I was ending the video and then I realized I do have a couple more things. So I have this guy here. He is a pair playing a guitar and as you can see it was two dollars. It was just too cute not to pass up. I do have to go get some felt and fix his eye so I will do that but then he does have some couple of spots here and then you know some pieces missing on the bottom um, but otherwise you know he looks pretty cool and I was kind of excited to find him he's like a shelf sitter I think because he's a little you know he has a space right here that he can sit so how cute is he and then I found this planter and it is marked and dated so it says Samson Samson Import Co 1960 and another st sticker that says made in Japan and it's Relpo I don't think I've seen that sticker before so I just thought that was so cool how cool would this be for you know around, around Valentine's Day to display something in I did pick up some ribbon some velvet trim so there's that one and then there's this one looks like that and I picked up some prints that I thought that I could decorate with so here they are there is that one I thought this would be fun to put out during this season that's probably more probably more spring. I have been on the lookout for these type of prints when I've been out and about and this is the first time I've actually seen it so I had to get it and there was a good little collection in there so I was happy to find that. So thank you for watching. Let me know down below what you guys liked and I will see you in the next video. Bye!